Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 20 best sellers from Amazon this year. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This is not the top 20 best selling items on Amazon. It's the items that you guys bought the most from my recommendations from this year. So I went through all of the analytics of what people purchased through my links and these are the top 20 items of 2020. I'm going to start at number 20, work my way all the way up to number one. Number one actually really surprised me. So yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later on. Every single item per usual will be linked down below in the description box, along with everything I'm wearing. These earrings and my necklace are both from my jewelry line, SB, which is always linked below as well. And yeah, let's get into it. Starting out with number 20, this is the base coat that I use for my nails. I've been using it for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. It is the LA Girl Calcium Nail Builder. I use this as my first coat when I'm doing my nails and then I go on and do the color and then the top coat. I cannot recommend this enough and obviously you guys are using it too because it made my top 20 this year. Just so good. Number 19 is the Turning Lazy Susan that is acrylic that I have in my pantry. I did a full kitchen organization video, which is where I'm assuming most of you guys saw this from. And it is just so convenient if you have a small cabinet or pantry like we have. We don't have a ton of room, and so we need to make the most out of the room that we do have. And this just turns inside of the cabinet, so it makes it really easy to turn it and get whatever you want out of it. Coming in at number 18 is my ice roller. This is one of my favorite purchases from Amazon, although I will say that I, I think I prefer my ice mask more just for what I personally use it for. I love to use it for my headaches. I don't love to use it at all because I don't like to have headaches, but if I have a headache, I really like the ice mask, which I can link that below too. I think this is just better for people in general because it has so many uses. So you can use this for a headache. I, a lot of times I'll roll it right on the back of my neck or over my forehead when I have a headache. You can also use it to depuff your face if you have a lot of puffiness when you wake up or after you have a lot of salty food or you've been drinking or something like that. It's also really good for anti-aging. So you can just roll kind of your entire face and it helps with an insane amount of things. I'm sure you can find a whole list on the internet of things that ice rolling helps with, but it's just, it feels so good. And you just throw this in the freezer and then when you're ready to use it, take it out. I have a little part of our freezer that has my ice masks and my facial roller in it. Number 17 was my most worn nail color this summer. This is in the Essie Gel Couture First Fitting shade. This is the prettiest white color. I did a full video testing out bridal nail colors before my wedding, and this was one of the colors that I tried out, and ultimately I didn't want to wear a like white, white nail polish for my wedding, but I ended up falling in love with this color, and now I've shaken it up so you can't see, but I've used more than half of this bottle. It's insane. I love it so much. It is the most beautiful white. It doesn't yellow. It doesn't chip easily. It just stays on. It is incredible. I cannot recommend this enough. I know that when summer rolls back around, I'm going to have this on all the time. Number 16 is an item that actually Adam brought to the relationship, and this is a fabric shaver. You take off the shield and then this is what it looks like and you just rub this onto your fabric you turn it on so you turn it on and then you rub it against your fabric if you have a sweater that's been pilling you can use it on your couch basically any fabric that's pilling you can just gently rub this on and then all of the fabric that has come off goes into this little thing and you can dump it out when you're done with it. So this will bring your sweaters back to life. I highly recommend it. It's such a cheap thing that I never even knew existed, but it is amazing. Coming in at number 15 are these acrylic stackable containers. This is what I keep my inventory in for SB. It's really easy for me to stack these up. I'll put the name of the product. It's easy to grab things in order to ship them out, but I think that these could be used for a plethora of things, whether you have a business that you have supplies for. You could use this for office supplies and put 
you know, like sticky pads or whatever you have, or you could use this for food in your pantry. If you had like little grab and go snacks that would fit in here. These also come in a bunch of different sizes. So some of them are wider, some of them are taller. You can put like boxes of mac and cheese in them, literally anything. I just think that they work for so many different things that I don't know how I ever lived without them. And I really like that they're nice and clean looking. You can see what's inside of every container. It's not that it's like hidden away, which in some cases I like that, but in cases with like my pantry or my organization in my office, I need to be able to see everything and these work perfectly for that. Number 14 is my expandable spice rack. I completely redid our spice cabinet this year and I'm so happy with how it turned out, but we do have an acrylic spice rack that we've had for a while now and then I did redo the spice jars. But the, the rack opens up and it expands to whatever width your cabinet is. So if you have a narrow cabinet, it'll fit in there, but then it also expands basically double the width of what it is so it will fit any cabinet which I love that because our spice cabinet is slightly wider than our normal cabinets and it just is able to fit everything that we need so highly recommend that and I also do like that it's tiered so you can see everything really easily. Number 13 is my makeup container. This is what I travel with with my makeup and this comes in a ton of different colors so if pink is not your jam you do not have to get pink but I like that it's a hard case so your makeup will not get squished. It is easy to just wipe down if you get it dirty and then on the inside it has this area for all of your brushes and then it has this zipper compartment that goes the entire length so you can fit a really large eyeshadow palette if you want to bring something like that and then in here all of these are they come out so you can make this however big you want the compartments to be and you can take them out completely and not use them so depending on what i'm bringing i will make the compartments adjust to whatever i need I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it for well over a year. I've had no issues with it. Nothing has broken or gotten squished or anything. And I can fit all of my makeup and my skincare in here for any trip that I go on, which I love. So it is a little bit bulky, but if you are somebody who wears makeup every day and then has a skincare routine, you will fill it up. This is number 12. This is a tiered acrylic glasses display. And I love this. I think that it's such a fun way to have my glasses, my sunglasses displayed. Like right behind you guys is my Ikea PAX closet system. And I have a shelf that just has a bunch of like display items on it. And that is where this lives. I just like to be able to have a couple of pairs out that I can see and just grab and go. So this has been a popular item of mine for a while now and I still love it just as much as I did when I got it. It comes and it's super easy to put together. You just have to screw these in uh, and yeah, it's held up beautifully. I have nothing but amazing things to say about it. Number 11 is my backpack. I have gotten so much use out of this. It is just the best backpack. So it has this strap so you can carry it over your shoulder or it can just kind of hang down. This front pocket zips but it's also nice to just throw something small in there. It has two side pockets if you have a water bottle or something on you. The straps are adjustable which is awesome and then to open it up you open it up in the back which I like because it's nice and secure. Somebody from behind you can't go up to you and undo your backpack. So if you're traveling and you want your stuff to be secure this is secure on your back and then if you open it up it kind of folds over it's hard to see because it's black on black but then it has a zipper compartment and a regular compartment and then obviously the big opening in the back so I just love this I have used it on every trip that I've gone on since I got it I can fit my MacBook Air in here I don't have a case or anything on my MacBook, but it does fit in there. It's like the perfect fit. So it's not huge by any sense of the imagination, but it fits anything that I would need to fit in here. And I just love that it's so easy to travel with and you can throw it on your back and be good to go. Rounding out the top 10 is this silicone hair scraper brush thing. <laughs> I bought a um, scalp scrub and I bought this to go with it. So the bristles are silicone, so they're not going to like stab your head, but you just take this and you massage your scalp with it. 
I don't wanna completely mess up my hair, but I have a scalp scrub that I will do once a week or once every two weeks, and I just put that in, and then I will massage this into my scalp. If you use a lot of hair products, like dry shampoos or just hair products in general, you'll have a lot of buildup on your scalp that you won't even notice, but this really just gets your hair to be the cleanest my hair has ever been. So it feels so good after you wash your hair like that, You'll never want to go back, so yeah. I've been loving this. You can also use this without a scalp scrub. You can just do it with your shampoo, and it really gets... There's like a part in the back of my head. It's like my lower scalp area that I feel like I can never get it fully clean in my hair, and so this really helps with that to just massage the shampoo into your hair and just get like a really, really nice clean. So it's a super affordable tool. Number nine is an old favorite of mine. This is my jewelry organizer, another travel item. It's this really pretty quilted material. It comes in a bunch of colors, just like everything on here does. Uh, and then you open it up and it has compartments for everything. So you have a little area for your necklaces and then they can hang down. You can put any like medallion or charm type thing in the little pockets to keep them separated. Over here, there's two zipper compartments. There's room for rings, a bunch of room for earrings, another zipper compartment, and another zipper compartment. And then you just secure it, and it's not tangled, not a mess, none of your jewelry is getting damaged, and it's in this small little envelope. So I love this. I've never gone on a trip that I have needed more room for jewelry. This carries every single thing I could ever want to bring with me. I also think that this would make a really good gift if you have a jewelry lover in your life that you think would use something like this. Number eight is the Spatty Daddy Spatulas. You guys went wild for these when I shared them. This is such a simple idea, but Oh my gosh, it is game changing. So it's this set of two little mini spatulas and these are made for beauty products. So if you have something that you have used, you know, the last of or what you think out of the pump, you can use this. This one is for like shampoo and conditioner, lotions, you know, bottles like that body wash that the bottle is a little bit taller so you need to get into it and it's a little bit bigger. This one is for like skincare or foundation or anything like that that you're trying to get the last of but it's really small. So I have used the last of all of my products since I've gotten this. I just think that it's been, they easily paid for themselves in the amount of product that I'm getting out of my products after I can't use the pump anymore. So I can't recommend them enough. They're such like a silly little invention but you never knew you needed them until you get them and then you realize how much you needed them. Number seven are these bow scrunchies. They are velvet. I want to say the set came with six, but I could only find five of them. But I think these are super cute. They would make an amazing gift. And what I like about them is obviously you can tie your hair up, but then the bow part has wire in them. So you can kind of shape them to be whatever you want them to be. So I really like that. You don't necessarily have like one flying straight up out of your head. You can move it so that it looks how you want it to look. I just think these add something fun to a ponytail or like a little messy bun. And I think they would make a great gift. Number six are my favorite teeth whitening strips. I have tried so many different kinds and these ones win by a long shot. They're less expensive than the Crest White Strips. They don't leave my teeth sensitive at all, which a lot of the other kinds have. They're super easy to keep on. I've noticed with some of them, they're really flimsy, and then the strip is kind of falling off of my teeth and I can't talk with it or anything like that. These are almost like a waxier consistency, so they stick onto your teeth better. So I have no problem talking with them in, which is crazy. I don't feel like I've ever had that experience with white strips before. I think that they work better than any other kind that I've had and they last, the white on your teeth last longer. So I cannot recommend these enough. They actually sell them in a two pack on Amazon too if you want to do them like two times. You can't beat the fact that they work better and are less expensive than Crest. Coming in at number five are the Tinkle Razors. I have talked about these quite a few times and I think the last time I got a two pack of these which have three each, so it was six razors and it was like maybe $4, but they're these little straight edge facial razors. They come with a protective thing and then 
it's just a straight razor that you can use these to dermaplane your skin you can use them to clean up your eyebrows do your little mustache i shave my entire face with them which i i want to say i did a full video on shaving my face if i can find it i will link it in the cards for you but these are just incredible you don't want to use them too many times i'll use it like two or maybe three times but that's it and then i'll throw it away grab a new one these are super affordable they are the best facial razors that i have used personally and i am not surprised that these made the top five a lot of the top five products are like self-care or i don't know beauty type products number four is this foot file this is something that i had never used except when they used it at the pedicure places at the nail salon and then i stopped letting them use these because i heard a bunch of horror stories about them and so now i only use it on myself and this is basically like a cheese grater and you just rub this side on the back of your foot and like on the bottom of your foot and it is insane how much dead skin will come off of your feet like it's it's really gross but it's also satisfying so number three is my favorite beauty type Number three is my favorite beauty tool that I have probably ever found on Amazon and I will never go back. It is this eyelash comb. This seems so simple, but obviously you guys loved it too if it was at number three. So this is what it looks like. The thing that is the best about this is that it has a curve just like your lashes do. So when you go to comb out your lashes, it hugs your eye shape instead of being flat so that you can't get all of your lashes. I very, very, very carefully uh, comb out my lashes after my first coat of mascara. Be gentle, you will rip out your eyelashes if you are not careful doing this, but that is personally what I have done for years and so I continue to do that and this is the easiest way I've ever found to do it. There's the perfect space between the bristles and I just find that it's so easy to comb out my entire lash and not miss any of them with how the curved design is. Number two is my crystal nail file. It comes in this little case. This is what it looks like and this is the most like fascinating find. So it's just this piece of crystal and it doesn't really feel like a nail file but when you use it it will file your nails faster than any nail file you've ever tried and it doesn't really make a lot of noise it's so bizarre like i i don't know it's so confusing to me because i'm so used to the regular nail files that this the way that it works is just insane so it's super cheap it's better for your nails for regular nail files technically i don't do this but you're technically supposed to only file one way so you would file and then lift up and then file lift up file I don't think anyone does that but you can kind of split your nails if you go back and forth with a normal file with this you can go back and forth and it doesn't damage your nails it's not expensive it is better for your nails it makes less noise and it stays in perfect shape like this looks like i just bought it you if it has anything on it you can just rinse it off so i don't know if this would ever need to be replaced i guess if i broke it but i don't know if it would ever actually wear out and lastly the number one most purchased item from Amazon from me is the bedhead hair waver. I am in shock that this was the best selling item of the year. I the video that I did got a lot of views but I just I have only really talked about it I want to say in that video and I want to use it again. I haven't used it in a few months but it's this hair waver. You just clamp down and it kind of gives your hair those beachy waves. It's super easy to use uh, and yeah, I thought that this one was way better than the other one that I had, which was the pink one. And it had like, it almost looked like three curling wands in a row and it clamped down the same way. This one was just a little bit deeper. So you got more of like that wave and yeah, I don't know. I just feel like for a product that I haven't really mentioned a lot, I was surprised that it was number one, but apparently you guys are liking that wavy hair look this year and I see why it's super easy and... 
So this was number one. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed looking back at my top 20 best sellers on Amazon of 2020. Let me know down below in the comments if you have purchased anything from my recommendations on Amazon. If you did, did you love it? What did you get? Tell me all the things down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank <music> you.